Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What type of tasks we can use in the event handler pan? So we know that when we run our SSIS package, different events raised on different levels. So we have events those are raised or will be raised on the package level and there are events they will be raised on the task level and there will be events they will be raised on the container level. So those events, by using those events what we can do, we can perform some actions by using the event handlers so let's consider this ssis package right right here i have ssis package name package one and i have data flow i have script task i have for each loop container so when these uh, this package will run uh, different events uh, events will be raised on a tasks container and package level let's go to the event handler and now what we want to do on the package level we want to send an email if uh, uh, error happen so on um, even uh, event that will be raised uh, that will be on error so we got the on error event and here we want to send an email let me see send mail task so we can we can use the send mail task uh, to send an email now when we are sending the email we wa we want to reverse uh, the loaded uh, tables as well so we want to truncate the tables whatever we loaded in the staging area so we can uh, truncate those tables by using execute sql task we might uh, want to reverse uh, the some of the files uh, which were moved uh, from the input directory to the pr processing directory we want to reverse them as well so we can use the for each loop container and uh, um, read those files uh, from process folder and put back to the input folder so if you see here I'm using any task uh, what I like uh, to use in the event handlers uh, pan and uh, also uh, we can use presence constraints uh, so answer this question we can use any tasks so uh, we can use any uh, containers uh, we can write expressions on presence constraint constraints uh, or we can or simply we can use the presence constraint so whatever we have here in the control flow all those tasks uh, they can be also used in the event handlers thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video